Today we are going to connect our Raspberry Pi to our solar inverter and install solar assistant so that we can access real-time data from our inverter. We will be able to view everything on our phone, tablet or even computer, whether at home or even away on any network and have access to instant solar production, battery charge status, how much we are sending to the battery, how much we are selling to the grid or buying from the grid. We will also get access to production and consumption graphics as well as lots of inverter and battery details plus if we want we can even change our inverter settings I'll be using the day 6k inverter as you guys know link will be down below but solar assistant which is compatible with a lot of inverter brands so just check out on the link down below I'll be using the Raspberry Pi 4 and you will be able to use the Raspberry Pi 4 in any format that you want Raspberry Pi 5 3 or any other flavor of of Raspberry Pi or even Orange Pi. I will leave the links down below. We will also be using a USB to RJ45 cable, which I did try a few, which I did purchase online. The one that I'm using right now works flawlessly. So I will leave a link down below so that you don't need to waste time. And of course, you will be able to purchase everything from the Solar Assistant website, which will be down below as well. I'm reusing one of my Raspberry Pis 4 from one of my projects. If you already have one, then great. If not, just choose any of the Raspberry Pis that are compatible or Orange Pi. And it doesn't have to require a case like I'm using. If you want to use just a Raspberry Pi, it will be fine. So let's go to the Solar Assistant website and create an account. We will give our email, name and password. Now we can have access to download the software. We just need to download it for the Raspberry Pi or Orange Pi that we will be using. In my particular case, I did download for the Raspberry Pi 4. Then we just need to go to the Raspberry Pi website, download the Pi Imager, install it on our Windows or Mac OS computer and open that program. Now let's select the device that we are using, in my case the Raspberry Pi 4 and for the operating system let's choose Use Custom and in the window that opens let's select the Solar Assistant image that we just downloaded. Then choose your memory card, click Next and then No, do not change any other settings and proceed. It will take a few minutes, about two or three minutes to write to the SD cards and once it finishes it's done. Just insert the cards to our Raspberry Pi and we are ready to go. Now let's go to the inverter and use the RJ45 cable to USB. We just need to connect it to the RS485 on our inverter. If your inverter is like mine then you can see it right over there. If it's different just search on your inverter or on the help pages of Solar Assistant because you will have a lot of info right over there. And the other part of the cable the USB port on the Raspberry Pi. Then just power up the Raspberry Pi and it will give us a Wi-Fi network. So let's open our phone and look for the Solar Assistant Wi-Fi network. Connect to it and the page will automatically open. Let's select our region, in my case Europe, your country and your home Wi-Fi network along with your passwords. Just leave everything else as they are because the data readings will be handled through the inverter. Let's click Submit and that is it. Now we just need to change network. So we are connected to Solar Assistance. Let's connect to our home network. And now let's tap the IP address that shows on our phone. You may see several ones here in my particular case because I'm doing some tests, but you will only add one. You just need to tap and you are in. Now let's go to settings and choose which inverter you are using. Mine is day and for the battery let's select use inverter data. Let's click connect and once it says connected you can go to the dashboard and you will start seeing all your inverter and battery data in real time like I do right over here on this mobile phone, on this computer, on this mobile phone and on this tablet, all of them sharing in real time. But at this moment we are using the local IP and I want to have the possibility to access when I'm away. So let's go to the settings once again and let's click on the register site. Choose your site name, it will end with the eu.solar-assist 
assistant.io adds a description and now from anywhere in the world just using our phones 4G or 5G connection or any other internet service out there we will be able to access our dashboard through that address which is really really cool and awesome it's awesome to have access here but being able to have access to all this data which is live when we are abroad it is really really cool now i'm using one of my raspberry pis and if you are going to use it with case or without case but in this small form factor it will be easy to put behind your inverter on the cable management system that i have for example i had enough space to put one right over there but as i'm using one bigger case with cooling solution similar to this one right over here what i decided to do was to run the usb to rj45 cable on that cable management system and then I place the Raspberry Pi just under a circuit breaker that I've got right over there on the shelf and it works perfectly but it's so easy to change so if I want to change the Raspberry Pi tomorrow or the location I just need to remove the Raspberry Pi from there and hide it anywhere that I want so this is a really simple project now one of the features that we will find here and I did love it is the option to backup and import data so at this moment I'm using it for about one month or so and I do have two accounts today I'm using one of the accounts that I did create to share this video with you but the data that is here it's real data that I did import from my main account now when I go back to my main account the only thing that I will need to do is to download the backup that I've got right over here and then import on the other Raspberry Pi that I've got with my main account and this is great because in one year or something like that if you want to upgrade your Raspberry Pi or you want to upgrade your SD card or you want to just keep a backup of your data and you can do backups in a monthly basis or something like that so that you can assure that if anything goes wrong with your SD card or your Raspberry Pi you are covered and this gives us a lot of flexibility and a lot of safety which I did love as soon as I saw that feature now if you don't want to go through all this trouble of getting your Raspberry Pi setting it up and so on if you go to the solar assistant website you will have a pack that contains already the Raspberry Pi with the SD card and I think that it brings everything so that you have an experience of plug in play in my opinion this is a lot more fun the links will be down below so that you can decide if you want to get your own pi or if you already have your own pi your sd card you just need to get the cable and then purchase the software which costs 59 us dollars or 59 euros at the moment of the recording we can use it for 30 days with all the features that we have seen everything is unlimited but after the 30 days then we will need to purchase it some of you will say hey robert can't we do something like that on home assistant we can we have have done things similarly probably not so fine-tuned like it is but we did with the water temperature with the solar production and the grid injection things like that we did a lot but it is a lot of work it is a lot of hours so for someone that wants a really simple solution to have real data real time on a mobile phone or any other device and the process is just this it's a really fun process easy to do now for those that are with a little bit more patience let's go and take a look of what we can get in terms of data on a mobile phone and on a laptop now solar assistant on our phone now this is not an app this is the address that we place in either the internal ip or the external site that we can access all over the world and it's really well designed in terms of the mobile app and also on the computer that we will check in just a moment now we have a lot of info all of this is live on my environment at this moment it's not 9 41 in the morning it's 3 12 in the afternoon so my battery is 100 charged and at this moment i'm generating 4131 i'm injecting to the grid 3500 almost the battery is full so we have info here that we can check on solar pv you can see that daily production is 16.7 kilowatt hour today and then we will have the total of the week but today is monday so 16.7 is the weekly total tomorrow will be two days and so on and so forth 
I'm not really sure if I did record any footages of other tests that I was doing in another day of the week, but you will have this idea. Now, if we press on the solar PV, it doesn't happen anything. If I press on the inverter, it will give me some more details. So I will see here that the charge above 20%, which is what I do have in settings, the AC power loads, we will have the solar PV power of each MPPT. So I do have 1,700 and something and 1,000 whatever. It's changing at every moment because this is real time maybe a cloud just passed by or something like that we also have info on the grid and also on the battery if i go back to the dashboard i can also check out the grid with less details of course i can also check out on the battery what i do have in terms of percentage with at this moment 100 percent and if i go back that's about it so in this dashboard in my opinion i do have the enough information that i want from my system especially what i'm generating what i'm in injecting and what I'm purchasing. Now we also have here the charts which will give us a lot of information and if you like charts you will enjoy this area here but on the computer we will have more options than this which we will check in just a moment. I can also check the totals for the last 30 days. So right over here if I press my uh, with my finger I will be able to see the totals of my generation last 30 days. So I've been using since September 11 if I'm not mistaken yes September 11 was when I did configure solar assistance on my Raspberry Pi and then I have all this data right over here and I also have for the last 52 weeks and if I go here for the last 12 months I can see that my system on September 508 kilowatt hour generated since September 11th and then I already have for October right over here and all this data that we can explore which is really cool and then we have this menu right over here which is the power management of my particular invert and now with the desktop version which is really cool and although it's not an app on a mobile phone it's really cool to see that it scales on the desktop like this and really awesome to see it how it's built on the mobile phone as well now if we take a look here at some data is more or less the same so we are not going to m waste much time here if i check the inverter for example this is the information that we had but we have a bigger screen so the information will be all the played right over here. If we go to charts, which is something that we can't see so well on the mobile phone. Here, for example, I've got my last seven days. By default, you will find the last 24 hours, which is like this. You can see that today is a cloudy day, but nonetheless, this awesome day inverter and the battery is just working really, really great. But if I check here for the last 30 days, for example, I still haven't been using for a complete month, 11th of September till 6th of October, which is today. But we can see a lot of data here and if we scroll down you can see the amount of data the battery state of charge the MPPT voltage one two and power for the MPPT one and two we have a lot a lot of data so if you are into data and if you enjoy to see your system not only with real-time data but also with all this kind of data then this is awesome for you let's go for the totals we can check here for the last 30 days where i can just we use my mouse and see load solar and grid the way that i've got my inverter assembled and i do have several systems working so it will not count for the load because i don't have the load being used only in case of a blackout my load will be used with an ats automatic transfer switch so depending on the way that you have your inverter, you might get a different reading in some values. Now, right over here, we have a last 30 day summary where we can check out the solar PV produced, the battery charge, discharge, grid used and grid exported. I'm still on summer. It's ending, but I'm still on summer. So zero from the grid, which is awesome. Last 12 months. So I still haven't used for a full month, but we can see a summary here 508 kilowatt hour produced in september already with 156 kilowatt hour in october and all these details so the advantage in my opinion on the desktop version is that we have a lot more details we can check a lot more 
at a quick uh, way and this we have seen on a mobile phone so let's not waste time here the advantage on a mobile phone is that i will have access to this information that it's on my desktop right now which is the dashboard in my opinion for live viewing status this is the best screen for me and i use it all the time just to check out when i see a cloud or something like that it's really really cool something that we can't do on the day inverter software or any other inverter because it takes five minutes or so to take it to the cloud and then come back to our system and right over here if a cloud goes by as you probably have seen like i'm talking 976 at this moment yes this is a cloud passing by so what happens is that i will have instantaneous data right over here which is what we are having 1365 and it turns something on a battery injecting this and right now the cloud Cloud just went away and we are producing 3770 something and if i go to my inverter we can see those real numbers on the mppts right over here which is really cool but enough for today and that is it hope that you enjoyed the video if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one